inhale, raise your arms, and just go ahead and pull, stretch to one side, and inhale, clasp your fingers, take an exhale, switch. Finding the side stretch. I mean, your tippy toes, first balance, exhale, sink down, chair pose. Hands to your heart, take an inhale, and as you exhale, a little twist to your right, open up, look up, one arm down, one arm lengthens, come through the middle, reaching up, sink it down, maybe inch down, inch up, pulsing, and then bring your hands to your heart center, coming to the prayer twist, going to your left side. Extending that right arm long, left arm down. Take the inhale, reach up, chair pose. Find your inch down, inch up about four times. Ah, reaching up, taking it all in, coming to those tippy toes again. And as you exhale, bring it down. Mountain pose, and then coming to your mat. Clasp your hands, find a shoulder stretch. Just raise your arms, if that's okay for you. And then bending that left knee, left arm down, right arm waves, switching sides, just finding your own flow, your own movement. Bending that right knee, right arm down, left arm waves. Take a half lift, inhale. Just find a few sun salutations here. Exhale, forward fold, walk your hands all the way out to your plank pose. Stay here. Finding the breath and the strength. A few mountain climbers, so right elbow, right knee, find a push up in between. Push up, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, and a push up. Keep it going on your own, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, and push up, building that strength in the core, isolating your tension right there, pushing up, finding your way, always an option to do child's pose here, hold it in your plank pose, and then send the hips high to the sky, downward dog, pedal out, breathe in and breathe out. Finding your little shifts. Walk your feet all the way up. Find your half lift. And exhale, forward fold. Let your head go. And root down, rise all the way up. Reach your arms, top of the mountain. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands plant, walk your feet back, plank pose, find your push-ups. Breathing out and breathing in, taking around 10. Coming to your knees is always an option. Keep it going, find your strength, going all the way down or halfway down and send those hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Pedal out, take what you need here. Coming to plank, and then we're opening up to Vashisdashana, side facing plank. Left hand is waved to the sky, downward facing dog. Now we'll take it to the other side, raise the right hand, side plank. We're going to do that again. So bring that right hand down, send your hips to the sky, downward dog. And then open the left arm up to the sky, side plank. Always an option to have your knee down. Downward facing dog. And then wave the right arm up to the sky. Nice. Really building some heat, some strength today. Adding that beach vibe yoga energy. So we'll inhale, coming to those knees, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, roll your shoulders back. Open the heart, open the arms. Breathe and sink it back, clasp your hands behind you, find that child's pose, roll out the hips, sinking it right and left, just making it feel really good on those hips, and as you're ready, coming into your cow and your cat, inhales, we'll look up, exhale, round the spine, inhale, tailbone long, and then as you're ready, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Right leg will go high to the 
the sky will bend and straighten roll out the ankles stack the hips and then take right knee to right elbow and then switch to left and then back to right do it three times right left right lift it up knees to the skies take it to the right to the left to the right inhale bring it to the sky round out your ankle you got this strong in your flow today crescent lunge is where we're headed inhale raise the arms feel your strength your power sink it down knee tries to meet the mat just pulls up and down and then open it up warrior two we're going to take it straight lengthening the arms straight up to the sky and then bending warrior two inhale we'll lengthen straighten everything up exhale bend warrior two one more time inhale straighten up exhale warrior two reverse your warrior and then exhale cartwheel the arms down drag and fly twist and then frame your foot open back up peaceful warrior reverse that warrior straighten the front leg triangle pose is where we'll be breathe take a look down half moon is where you're finding yourself to move flex your foot toes back to your face reaching that arm to the sky and then come to standing splits curtsy squat open it back up standing splits sink it down chair pose feel your strength come to that prayer twist and then if you want come to a crow pose so balancing pose just maybe lift one foot and then the other bringing those knees up to the armpits or right along the elbows maybe you can lift both feet maybe you can jump back and meet in the plank find your push-up flow if you want it finding about five and then we'll find the vinyasa upward facing dog exhale rolling over the toes downward dog pedal it out good got that second side so that left leg will lift three limb down dog bend roll out the ankle take that left to left right left lifting it up to the sky take the knee to elbow left to right back to left inhale lifting up one more knee will go to that left elbow to the right back to the left inhale bring it back to the sky bend and straighten and then find your way crescent lunge is where we'll meet inhale lifting the arms then we'll take our taps three of them knee down to the mat draw your shoulders away from your face finding your way flowing touching the earth inhale lifting up exhale warrior two find your heel in arch alignment straighten everything and the inhale reaching up exhale warrior two inhale reaching for the sky exhale warrior two inhale peaceful warrior tip it back exhale find your dragonfly twist right hand touches left hand reaches for the sky maybe you look up maybe you look down open it back up cartwheel your arms reverse your warrior straighten that leg left leg straightens find your way triangle pose looking up reaching up stacking it all up then half moon is where we're going open that hip flex that foot open open the hip is where you're trying what you're trying to do it's a hard balance pose especially on sand bring that right arm down curtsy squat let the head go standing splits here we go let that head go breathe in and breathe out chair pose sink it down pulses if you want them maybe four inch down inch up and then we'll come to that yobi squat and this time we're going to try a tripod headstand or you can try the crow pose again your way or just stay in your yobi squat so my knees will be on the triceps again and I'll plant my head on the ground and just balance my legs on my arms and just feel supported by the earth making this an 
upside down version before I transfer or transition I should say to a full headstand and that will be where we'll go next. Let's take that sun salutation, that vinyasa, find the half lift and exhale, let your head go, walk your hands out, find that plank pose. Maybe you take some more push-ups. Got about five to ten. Bringing your knees down and then send those hips to the sky. Right leg is lifting. Find the knee, to elbow, cross connect, lifting it back up. Lift that right, bend and straighten. And then take that big step, crescent lunge is where we'll meet. Take a few taps, knee down, left knee goes down to the mat, open it up, warrior two, straighten everything, exhale, warrior two, straighten the legs, straighten the arms, warrior two, reverse the warrior, breathe, exhale, dragonfly twist, open up, wave the right arm to the sky, coming back to reverse your warrior, Straighten that front leg, triangle pose, makes your way to half moon, same flow here, flex that foot, lift the arm, breathe, maybe you can look up to the sky, maybe not, curtsy squat, standing splits, lifting that left leg, sink it down, chair pose maybe a few pulses maybe stay right here and then this time we'll make our way to a yogi headstand so basket weave those hands right underneath the ponytail if you have one or just imagine that you do have a ponytail and walk your feet up the mat like you're in dolphin pose and then bring your legs straight up maybe you have a wall to support you maybe not just an option here on the beach I told myself I'd get upside down doing a headstand every day kind of been out of the practice but I like exploring it sometimes I can be balanced in it sometimes I am NOT we'll meet in a downward facing dog and we'll take it on the left side so shift the hip and then take the cross connect if you want them so a little core strengthening, lift that left leg up, round out the ankle, and then take that beautiful step, big step, reaching up, crescent lunge. Take your knee down three times. Open up, warrior two. Straighten everything, a triangle, warrior two. Bring your arms to the sky, straighten both legs warrior two and then we'll reverse the warrior on our next reach reverse peaceful warrior breath in breath out cartwheel the arms dragonfly twist right hand is down left is up, up to the sky find the peaceful warrior straighten the front leg triangle pose triangle pose takes you to half moon Find your way, flex your foot, send the arm up to the sky, the right arm to the sky, left hand down. Maybe you have a block or a pillow to help you with your half moon, curtsy squat, standing splits, roll out your ankle, let your head go, sink it down, chair pose. Actually, we're coming to goddess squat this time, so tuck your pelvic floor under, cactus your arms and come to your tippy toes maybe you pulse about four times just inch down inch up and then open it up start pose turn your toes slightly forward let your head go forward fold wide-legged find yourself in a side lunge back and forth just moving those joints and then from your wide-legged forward fold half lift exhale forward fold again and then make your way 
into your yogi squat. Sink it down, no hands, boat pose. Hold it in your boat pose and just hold your knees for a moment. And then coming to your feet without using your hands, boat pose, and then to your feet, lifting your hips up off the earth. Boat pose, standing up just a little bit. Lift those legs, it's, it's a balance challenge. This is a hard thing to do. Find your flow with it. Let the, lay, the feet touch the mat and lift you up and then stand all the way up without using your hands if you can. Something to practice and then sink it back down. Boat pose takes you to canoe, laying all the way down. Find a little core flow here. So lift your arms and your legs and let them meet. Finding some crunches here. And then bicycle, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Find your breath, find your core engagement. Couple more, cross connect. You've got this and then lift your legs straight up to the sky. Little pulses lifting your upper back your hands will meet your feet you can lift the lower back as well lift the hips up the arms up find those little crunches nice work bring your feet down to the mat windshield wiper your knees back and forth right and left and just hold it on the right side let the knees let the side twist happen and then as you're ready we'll switch sides to the left side Hug in that right knee, send the left leg long, roll out the ankle, hug both knees in, send the right leg long, and then the left leg, and take it, take that shavasana, just a few moments, feeling that blissful peace, like you're on the beach. And stay for a longer time in your shavasana. And if you're with me, we'll meet in a seated position. I'm just gonna take a side bend, a little push up to the side and exhale. Do it on the other side. Inhale, raise my arms. Exhale, let, let it all go. Put your hands to your heart where the light and the love is. Bowing down, namaste.